Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019 here in Budapest, Hungary, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Gabriel Solomon, who is Head of Government and Industry Relations for Europe and Latin America for Ericsson. Gabriel, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Max. Pleasure to be here. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, the, the theme of this year's event, Innovating Together, uh, Connectivity That Matters. What so it makes connectivity meaningful to you and why do you think it's so important? Connectivity is really what brings us together as a species. And I think what's really exciting now, we're on the cusp of the 5G revolution, where the physical and the cyber worlds will conflate. So we'll start communicating with things, not only ourselves, which brings a whole plethora of new ways of communicating, which is very exciting. And what single innovation technology policy or strategy do you think is going to have the most potential to drive digital transformation? Well, I think 5G as a technology already is doing something exceptional. It is offering greater capacity, higher latency, lower latency, I should say, higher speeds. And it really offers to transform the way industries, societies, governments and ourselves conduct our communications. I would argue, though, that policy is, is vital. Essentially, when we talk about our sector, there are three C's we can consider from a government's perspective. Those are cash, competition or coverage. And this is particularly true when we think about spectrum auctions. And you can't have all three. And if you really want to achieve digital transformation, you need to focus on the last C, coverage. And uh, what, what's the role of uh, network operators in, in the digital future and, and of governments? Network operators will essentially become the central nervous system for the economy and society, if indeed the policy is in place for them to become those, um, those networks. Um, for government, there's two things really. One is to be an anchor tenant for this new connectivity world that we are entering. And the second is to provide this enabling environment to incentivize investments and enable deployment to have pervasive networks and dense networks. Doing so in Europe could boost the European GDP by 2.2 trillion euros by 2030. Now, we've got one of our roving cameras is out on the uh, exhibition floor as well. It's been showing uh, a, a robot there. Uh, can you tell us a little bit what, you, what you're doing here at the moment? Well, ro the robot essentially has no intelligence within it. It's all managed from the edge. So demonstrating latency and low latency. If we increase the latency, the poor robot can't actually function and it can't walk straight. It's a bit like being... You know, inebriated. Uh, from your wide experience working uh, with both sectors, what would you say is the key to successful collaboration and partnerships? I think there's two things. One is mutual trust, which has not always been there um, between the private sector and the public sector. But the second, which I think is vital, is agreeing on a common objective. So what is it that we want the sector to achieve? What is the output that we want from the inputs that are provided? And if we can align around that, then I think the incentives to actually deploy um, become uh, apparent. And uh, finally, what's the value for you of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? Obviously, you, you've made a substantial investment being here personally, but of course, your, your, uh, your stand here as well. Well, Max, it's always great to catch up with you. Um, but as you know, the ITU Telecom World has had historic success. It's a great place to come to and meet and listen to and learn from so many uh, wise and well-traveled people. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us here in the studio, and hopefully we'll get to catch up again uh, soon in uh, some far-flung place. I look forward to it. Okay, lovely. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thanks.